We are wading into controversy here on News Breakfast. It turns out that one of the most divisive topics in the country is not anything we talk about in federal politics. It's not any world event. It's got nothing to do with the sporting conquests. It is soup. And this all springs from a conversation with Alice a few weeks ago. Here's a reminder. I know that neither of you are big chunky soup fans. No, I'm not you a can... soup fan. Okay. Oh, stop. okay, well, I'm opposed to it actually. Sure. <laughs> we need to do a soup segment then. That's what's going to happen. Oh, no, no, no. Can I be off that day? <laughs> can I be off that day? Guess what? I'm not. We've got soup in front of us because our resident foodie Alice hears something like that and you just go. You rise to the challenge. <laughs> that is a which red is what we like about you. <laughs> You're yes. right. Welcome. You're right. Thank you. And this is like the soup is the Trojan horse, actually, because I know that Lisa Miller, you have an aversion to soup. We can talk I'm about. Gonna, I'm just going to keep my mouth Where that comes that. from, but actually, lots of people have uh, a thing that they don't like to eat. And so, what I want you to think about today is who in your life has something that they don't like to eat, and how you might help to sway them, but in a really gentle, pleasant way. So, Lisa, you don't have to try any of these soups yes, if you does. don't want to. You really don't. <laughs> yes, she, but we're yes, going to create. We're going to cultivate a sense of FOMO here to the point where you really want to try okay. it because you fear missing out. So what should I try first? So, Michael Rowland, in front of you, you have got a, an orange veg one tray soup. The great thing about this soup is that you just chuck all the orange veg, you know, things like carrots, butternut, pumpkin, uh, some um, uh, sweet potato, anything orange that you want to. You could even veer into other coloured vegetables if mm. you want to. Roast them all, essentially whole or chunkily chopped. Yep and then blitz them up and you've got this gorgeous flavour. You know, it's got ginger inside, so it's lovely and aromatic. So just mash what shot was that? Smash veg. It's smash veg. Thanks for the gut shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's um, you know, this soup for somebody who doesn't love soups mm. is kind of like a runny mash. Are you a mash fan, Lisa Miller? I love yeah, mash. I like mash. Well, this could be the soup that sways. There we oh, go. This is so doing. good, Alice. <laughs> and it's coconut milk on top. And you yeah. can change the, the flavourings on this so you know what I do know you like Lisa what chili I love chili yes so I've brought you some chili <laughs> oil so. And chili with anything makes it better. Exactly. Chili and, with anything. And can for you. I just say, just super quickly, in case people have weren't following sort of the debate about it, mm. was that the soup thing is, I don't like kind of consuming it. I feel like it dribbles on my chin. I feel like it's not you really hate a meal. Who, who go like this? I, <laughs> I feel like anything you have to add bread to is not really a meal. I feel like there's so many things about soup that make me feel uncomfortable. What about pasta? You add bread to pasta. You have yes, but pasta is a meal by itself. Yeah, but you dip bread and pasta, pasta says, sauce. I am here. Soup is like, yeah. Soup is more like, hello, how are you doing? Feel free to have me as an entree. I wouldn't insult you, Alice, with not trying thank it. You, so Lisa. thank you very much. You're very welcome to try it. Just to have a little spoonful. What and if I, I don't get it down my chin. No, no, I believe in you. I believe just actually maybe um, time, yeah. smaller spoonfuls. Oh, that maybe that's what I'm doing <laughs> wrong. <laughs> like, you don't have to load it up. And, and here's the thing, because I actually don't disagree with you. I don't necessarily think that soup is a meal. I think that soup could be more like an entree, like a starter, to get your, um, your appetite going, you know, whet the appetite, and then you can eat something else if you want to as your main meal. In fact, we've got a big pot of soup in the fridge Every, all the time, any mm. day of the week, mm. and that's just like a These little start. These look dangerous, us. though. This is where I have a trouble. Okay, so let's move on to the mm. dangerous ones then. Mm -hmm. um, shall we bring in some reinforcements? <laughs> yes, let's do that. <laughs> so, oh okay. gosh, Tony, I didn't see you there. I've been tonguing from the side. Don't worry. <laughs> so, um, well, I actually have a special soup that we made just for Tony, okay. um, and we're going to call this the. Um, so, Tony, you've got the spiky meatball soup in front of you, <laughs> but the one that I really want you to try is this one here, which oh you've got a bowl of over That's there. Oh gosh. And uh, you can do a little swapsies, because uh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> and this is a soup for if you've got a bit of a sore head. Let's say oh. that you've had a big night. Uh, <laughs> let's say maybe you're not feeling well. Maybe you've been studying late into the night. Maybe you've been with careful, your careful, careful, Maybe you've been with your logie. And so this is a pressure cooker uh, chicken soup. You can make it vegetarian as well by just using a vegetable stock. It's got chicken thigh that I've shredded through it. Yum. And it's the garlic that makes it. It's is this a hangover soup? Uh, look, it's not not a hangover <laughs> soup, but this is breakfast telly, so I'm behaving myself. You can call it whatever you need to, but just taste that and see how that makes you feel, because it's got the garlic croutons. That's going to wake you up.
That's amazing. Can I also say Where was Matt? this at 3.30 this morning? <laughs> or 3.30 on Monday morning. Oh. Matt was delicious. also in on this soup conversation because she has a problem with some soup. Look, I have an issue with chunky soup, such as you've given to Tony here, which he says is delicious, it but is. it's just like a broth with the chunks. And also, Alice, this looks very nice. But again, like, oh, it's the oh, meatballs gee, and it's the tomatoes. Why just wouldn't you put that over a pulled pasta and have a mm. proper meal? Do you like fur? Good. Yeah. I do like fur, yeah. Mm. Fur is a classic example mm. of a chunky soup. So. But that's got uh, noodles in it. Someone wants to have that you fur. You know what I mean? Too. Well, you could, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you could add noodles to this. It's essentially a classic polpetti, you know, an Italian meatball. I've used uh, pork and fennel sausage as the base, and then it's the currants, the sweet currants in mm. the meatball. I mean, it's delicious. Don't get me wrong. It's delicious. Mm. It's just the texture. Yeah. And you know what the meatballs do in that is that they actually add flavour to the fantastic. tomato sauce. So um, mm. it's up to you. Again, you can make that veggie if you want to. You just take the meatballs out. No pressure. A, a lot just of people do feel very passionate about soup. We in, we're having a bit of a chat online on social media and the number of people who jumped in on the conversation. Thank you for all your comments. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your support mm. and for understanding <laughs> where I'm coming from. And, and that's okay too, Lisa. You're always going to find somebody that agrees with you and disagrees with you online. In this instance, what I think we can do is we can find a middle ground. So you can find a soup that you like, even if you're not a soup lover. Uh, this is the pea and radish velouté, you know, talking about zero waste. This not only uses the radish hearts, but also the radish tops in this soup. It looks pretty. It's chilly. Pretty. Mm. You can turn that into a velouté if you want to as well by, by passing a it. A velouté is a really fancy, velvety French soup. You might find it at a really fancy restaurant, but it's essentially like a really Oat. creamy, fine textured soup. Mm. How's that? You yeah. look, you look, how? Oh, well. Come on, how, how, are you, how are you going? It's just, look, I've already got it up my lip. I think, <laughs> like, it's just, I'm just not enjoying it, the okay. process. Okay. But I really love having you on the program. <laughs> So I don't want you to get upset with me. I'm not upset. I love a challenge. So actually, when people tell me they don't like something, mm. I'm, I'm really interested to know why, and I can try mm. and find something to help I them. I don't like lobster. <laughs> Yeah. I, don't, I don't like red champagne. <laughs> I, I, I don't like lobster, so can you rise to that challenge for me? I'll see what I can do, I Michael Rowland. Yeah, oh, yeah, one yeah, more well, soup yeah. for you, Lisa Miller, and I know that okay. you said that you don't like the way that you bring it up to your mouth with the spoon mm. and maybe it sloshes everywhere. What about oh. a cup of soup? Oh, now you're talking. Let's go oh, 90s yes. with this. Oh. It's a ramen or like the buckwheat soba noodle mm. with a miso. And you can just get like the powdered mm. miso sachet and it's just 250 ml of boiled water. Um, Tony has popped some chilli oil onto the, the pressure cooker soup. Um, and Delicious. so this is that, that soup there, Lisa Miller. It's mm. your last soup. Mm. Um, See, when she uses my last name like that, I know I'm in trouble. That's, <laughs> that's the teacher voice that comes out. Mm. But I'm really excited for you to try this one too, because it's nice and Can fine. you actually, do, is it is a bad menace to... No, just as long as you don't slurp. If you sip, you're all good. And of course, uh, it's bad manners for me to tempt you with these soups at this time of the morning I know. without this telling you. This is great. You. So what's what's in what's in this, this exactly? So this that, is that was just a described. sachet of miso soup. Yes, but hang on, slurping is polite in Japan. Very I'm true. Slurp ramen. Away. You're right. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, we're, we're not, we're not in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now, Nate, I don't. I feel like we're almost out of spoons, so you're going to have to eat with a little teaspoon. Well, that's okay. There's some I've only got a small mouth. <laughs> there's Paul Petty there. Yes. And Tony's doing the exact right thing and getting into that uh, chili oil. Oh, oh my yeah, God. Would you like some? Chili's that's the best. So your you your soup's the best well. thing. The chili's no, that the bread. Thing. It's just it's just little little mm. buns. All of these mm. recipes are available online as well, mm. so that you can make these for your family, for your household. I'm sure there's somebody in your family that feels like Lisa feels about mm. soup or another ingredient. Ingredient. It's just about edging Excellent them towards women's. it with ingredients that they do like to eat. Mm. Well, all I can say Thank is that much, soup is <laughs> quite popular, popular in cold weather, and as Nate's been telling us, mm. in most parts of Australia, it's been quite mild. Are we going to bother with yeah. weather? No. We're just going to finish <laughs> this. <laughs> we're just gonna okay, can I just for a second, <laughs> just for our Tasmanian friends, because we do have some warnings, take a quick look at the map. We've got damaging winds still continuing around the western tiers this morning after absolutely getting blasted last night. Now, that should ease fairly quickly today as the fronts shift on. The rest of the country looking pretty clear. There is 
up front approaching WA. We'll talk about that next hour. For the Capitals, there you go. There's your fairly mild Tuesday. Some showers in Hobart, though, and uh, it is only getting to 13. Maybe a couple of falls for Brisbane, but everyone else is staying fine, and it's soup time. <laughs> Alice, thank you. Alice, you, you, again. you have a super Tuesday, oh, and wow. we'll see you next time. It's been superb to be here. Excellent. We're back after a short break. <laughs>